All right, guys, so Biden's presidential approval ratings are taking a dip, okay? They're taking a dip as Americans are finally starting to realize that they got bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray once again by the Democrat Party, okay? Always, always, always happens, okay? I really do believe that people are feeling Biden's remorse, and those who aren't yet probably will at some point. Now, this article, uh, which is basically a summary of a poll from Mammoth University, uh, says that Biden's spending plan remains popular, but presidential job rating takes a dip. And they try to frame um, Biden's job approval as a result of his ability to pass his spending packages, because there's a percep perception that Biden's infrastructure package is popular, okay? And that's what people want. Even though, again, I will argue that probably mo that most people probably don't know exactly what is in Biden's infrastructure package, right? And also, on top of that, he's gotten overwhelmingly positive media coverage, okay? Even though he doesn't necessarily deserve it. So with that being said, um, his approval rating dropping before below 50% is concerning because he's not even being attacked. He's not even being judged. So I'm going to read a little bit of the overall findings and takeaways from this poll and i know some of you guys don't like polls but they're fun right they're a good way to evaluate where the american people might be and they're thinking about administration and to get some takeaways from it and i also think that at this point uh this is a good time to reflect on what exactly has the biden administration done and where they may go in the future okay so let's uh go ahead and read a little bit here Joe Biden's uh, job rating has taken a dip as progress on his spending plans has stalled. The latest Monmouth uh, University poll finds the majority of American public continues to support these plans despite concerns about potential rise in consumer prices as a result. One question is whether the plans should be passed with or without bipartisan support. A sense that the president has not quite met expectations for boosting the middle class may factor into uh, his strategy on passing these bills. Biden currently holds a job rating of 48% approved and 43% disapproved. This is down from 54% uh, approved and 41% disapproved rating in April. Okay, so it's down about six points in a month, right? Which is kind of a big drop, right? He's now below 50%. And again, this is all positive media coverage, right? Biden is approval is dropping with nothing but uh, worship from MSDNC and CNN. The president gets a positive rating from 86% of Democrats down from 95%, 36% of independents down from 47%, and 19% of Republicans up from 11%. Okay, so he's losing some traction with Democrats, right, whom I can imagine are probably those on the far left. And the reason why I'm saying that is because he's also losing traction with independents as well, right? That could also include people on the far left who don't want to identify as Democrats, right? So I'm assuming that Biden probably is losing some support from the progressives because Biden does talk a big, big, big game, right? He talks a big game in terms of trying to appeal to progressives, but really he hasn't been able to execute on any of his promises, right? And all the things that, you know, Biden has talked about, right? He campaigned on like the public option, like um, getting rid of student loan debt. He hasn't done any of it, right? We haven't seen any sign of him even attempting to do it. And that's especially true when it comes to uh, student loan debt. So again, a lot of people are going to have buyer's remorse. And at some point, people are going to figure out that the Democrats are just a party of promises, okay? They're a party of hopes and dreams. They never actually execute. They have no intention on doing anything. Republican support is up from 11%, so it's up 8% to 19%. That's a little bit of a surprise, but it's also not at the same time um, because, you know, despite the border crisis being terrible and Biden not handling that, and that's an issue that a lot of Republicans care about, the fact that he's just kind of there, he, he's not doing much, I think plays into his favor with Republicans to a certain extent, because it means that he's not as radical as, you know, some people would like you to believe he is, right? But for me personally, my, my main concern is not that Biden's some type of closet progressive, because I, I don't think he is. I think that at this point, um, the fact that he hasn't went at it alone with the infrastructure package or forgiving student loan debt or put a lot of things on his agenda that the progressives repeatedly uh cry about um tells me that he's 
he's not really that progressive, right? He's just giving a lot of lip service to them while at the same time, not really trying to do anything at all. That doesn't mean that he eventually won't give in to progressive pressure. And that's ultimately what his presidency is going to come down to. Does he want to be bipartisan Biden, right? Does he want to actually work with Republicans or does he want to just go whole hog trying to appeal to the progressives, right? Doing more progressive legislation. Right now, it seems that Biden doesn't know what he wants to do. He's trying to ride the fence. Okay, that's what Biden's trying to do right now. That's what it seems like. So my concern about Biden is that he may give in to the more extreme wing of his party. Now, um, I think that the House Democrats um, and like the core establishment of the party, I think they're definitely more left than Biden. But a part of his agenda is their agenda as well. And ultimately, Biden's going to have to choose, right? Does he want to give in to the more progressive aspects of the gym Democrat agenda? Okay, because again, like I was saying, even the establishment Democrats, I think that they basically uh, become a lot more progressive than they've been in the past. Or does he want to work with Republicans? And him doing what he's doing right now is not going to work because he's messing up on a border crisis, threatening to raise taxes. We're seeing rising inflation, right? He's messing up on issues that Republicans care about. While at the same time, he's not doing any of the things that the progressives want, which makes it so everybody is going to hate him, right? And that's why you see his approval rating dropping so much even though there's support for his plans right there's support for his plans but if you don't execute on that then it doesn't matter how much people support your plans allegedly they support his infrastructure plan even though i think most people are uneducated about what's actually in it and the media has just um covered it in an overwhelmingly positive way as if everything he puts in there is good despite the fact that we spent so much money already under his administration and you know we're possibly seeing some inflation happen okay which you know could get out of control in the long term and we're also seeing a struggling job market despite him inheriting a red hot economy from trump okay so biden has underperformed right this is just objectively speaking biden has underperformed on the economy um right now considering that he inherited the vaccines considering that he inherited um you know a great economy from trump at this point, it, it makes no sense for us to be struggling the way we are in regards to inflation and getting people back to work. It makes no sense whatsoever, okay? And a majority of this comes from his administration's policies, especially in regards to um, the unemployment, right? Giving out these unemployment benefits, disincentivizing people to work, having these jobs now competing with the government to get workers, because the government is paying people not to work. And with people being out of work for so long from the pandemic, you know, either working from home or not working at all, people are already unmotivated to get back to their regular work life, right? And Biden hasn't necessarily done things to motivate them to do otherwise. So with that being said, where does the Biden administration go from here? Well, there's really nowhere they can go from here, to be quite honest with you, because guys, um, most presidents, they get a bulk of what they're going to do during their term done during the first hundred or so days of their presidency okay so i think biden's been in office for what four or five months now so over 100 days what he's already done is a majority of what he's probably going to end up doing and the reason why is because um congress is always on vacation right they're never in session so there's very very limited time to actually pass major legislation okay and by the time 2022 rolls around, Biden is going to have to start campaigning for the midterms, right? And then after the midterms, he's going to have to start campaigning for 2024. That's just how it works. So with that being said, he really doesn't have that much time to do that much of his agenda. And at this point now, uh, that's why you see progressives like AOC basically starting to attack biden and his administration saying listen <laughs> you can't keep sitting here <laughs> playing patty cake with republicans right trying to negotiate with republicans on this infrastructure package because they don't have much time to actually do much more okay that's why she's saying that right so like i said the question is is biden going to give in to that or is he going to negotiate with republicans and actually try to get a big deal in my opinion if i was biden right if i was him I would just go whole hog on negotiating with the Republicans, 
right? I would rather do something rather than nothing because both sides agree that infrastructure is needed, right? That we need to spend money on infrastructure. You know, now what you disagree on is what do you define as infrastructure and how you pay for it? But I don't think that Biden personally is that far left, right? I don't know if Biden even wants a lot of his own plans, okay? But with that being said, if you know that you don't really want it, why don't you just go whole hog on just working with the Republicans and saying, well, you know what? I'm being bipartisan. I'm being moderate, right? That's what I would do. Because right now, what Biden's doing is a lose-lose. It really is. Even if you just end up spending, you know, five or six hundred billion, okay, on infrastructure like the Republicans want to do. If it's paid for and the American people agree with it, it's a win. So what if the progressives cry about it, right? It may cost you in 2022. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe as many Republicans won't go out and vote against Biden, right? In 2022, if he actually shows some bipartisanship. But I know one thing, if he decides to go to get in bed with the far left, which he might, right? If he decides he wants to go with AOC, um, he will motivate Republicans to come out and vote against him in 2022. And if I was him, I would not be banking on progressives coming out and voting in 2022. Okay? The only way they're going to come out and vote is if there's some type of <laughs> existential Republican threat, Right? Which, that was Trump, right, in, in, in last year's election. That's why a lot of them came out to vote, because they wanted to vote against Trump, even though they didn't really want to vote for Biden. But they don't have that anymore. And that's why you see the media trying so hard to keep the Capitol incident relevant, because that's what they want. They want to keep that in the minds of the American people come 2022, so they can go out and say, hey, we need to vote against Republicans because they support the insurrection, okay? That's why the media keeps pushing it. And, and guys, I'm telling you, the American people are not stupid because despite all the positive media coverage from Biden, you would think his approval rating would be sky high, right? You would think that his approval rating would be up there in the 60s, okay? Or at the very least, not dropping below 50% this early. And again, the reason why is because the media has given him nothing but favorable coverage. But the American people are not stupid. They can see through what is going on with Biden. Right. They can see through the fact that he's proposing plans that Republicans don't necessarily agree with, like raising taxes. He's failing on a border crisis. He's embarrassing us on the world stage. OK, he appears to be in bed with the far left in terms of rhetoric. Right. On some social issues. And then the progressives can obviously see that, OK, despite Biden saying all this stuff, he's not really making the moves that he needs to make to actually execute. Right. So, again, he's losing with both sides here. He's losing with both sides. Um, and I and again, like I said, that's why I think his approval rating is dropping as much as it is. So, you know, hey, his administration, man, could be falling apart as fast as Biden's uh, mental health is. But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.